Hello guys! Today let's talk about summer style for soft dramatic body type. If you're new to my channel, I have a Kiwi body types or image identities playlist. I'm gonna leave the link down below. If you already know that you're a soft dramatic, you know that you're quite elongated, you have quite sharp bones, and on top you have soft flesh. If we think about Sofia Loren or Sofia Vergara, this is what we mean by soft dramatic. I'm gonna talk about summer wardrobe, but I don't mean 2023. I mean many many years from now, because we're not talking about trends, we only talk about specific summer items and how to create an outfit. Also some important points for your particular body, so it would look balanced and it would be comfortable for you. I'm gonna talk about some don'ts for you, but it doesn't mean that you have to throw these things away. It only means that you're gonna do something else to balance that. So summer clothes is quite thin and lightweight. These ladies are curvy, a bit heavy, elongated and sharpened bones. What is our purpose? What do we want to do with the clothes for these ladies? We need to accommodate their curves. Less clothes, thinner fabrics, everything is kind of more prominent. Sometimes a bit more prominent than women want. So the easiest solution for all soft dramatics, in my viewpoint, is a wrap dress. They create drapes and they create correct shape for soft dramatics. They're hugging them. They are accommodating their curves. They go around their bust. They accentuate the waist. Loosely, slightly accentuated would be already fine. And then it's falling down on their hips quite gracefully. So big drapes, puffy shapes, and big ruffles look amazing on soft dramatics. Different kinds of dresses can look stunning on you. It can be short, it can be middle size, it can be long. If it's short though, it's best when it's not very sleek and sharp looking. That would look best on gamins, it's like an opposite, small, straight and tomboyish figures. For you, on contrary, that can look as a contrast with you, so you would look bigger, longer and more voluptuous. It can also create some angularity in your body, even if you didn't have that much of that from the beginning. Hair also is very important, like Marina Baccarin, for example. When she's wearing this short dress, it's kind of cute on her, yeah? She has gorgeous body. But when she's having that gamine haircut, when I'm saying gamine haircut, I don't mean all the gamines should have this haircut. I know many gamines who have actually long hair, but it's a different story. We're going to talk about it later. It's just the vibe. So she's kind of trying on some different vibe on her. So with that, it's, it doesn't look bad, but her body looks as a contrast with those small, sharp and naughty lines. As soon as she's having a little bit longer hair, a little bit more ornate hair, more soft hair, more rounded hair, she already looks much closer to her nature. So soft dramatics can look great in sleek dresses too, but normally sleek dresses which are stiffly made with a bustier and have its shape, not too 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 sleek. But once we talk about summer dresses, of course we want lightness, we want light fabrics, and when we talk about jersey, stretchy and very thin cotton, this is when I would say no-no for the sleek dresses, for them sleek and short especially. If you still want to go for that kind of dress, for example, rib knit dress, go for that. Just choose one or two sizes bigger and just see how it goes. It should not be stretched too much around your bust. It should preferably just repeat the curves of your body, but sit on top, not squeeze you. Layered dresses would look amazing on you. By layered, I mean some ruffles here on top and some ruffles on the bottom. Sofia Vergara, she's a good example of that. I think she has her clothes line, but I think she created it for herself, for her own body. Probably she was lacking those shapes when she was shopping herself because she has a very specific body. So I noticed it's very often when she's wearing whether a top or a dress with a ruffle on the top part. It's kind of second layer ruffle. Sometimes it's so hot in summer. I know many women who have quite big chest and bra sometimes is just squeezing them and they want to get rid of that. That is a very good thing. If you try to find that kind of dress, I'm gonna try to find several pieces for you you. that is a good quality and exactly the shape that I talk about. I'm gonna leave the links down below, just check them, because this is an answer for you when it's too hot and you don't want to wear a bra. You can actually buy a dress or a top with that big ruffle as a second layer on top. Nothing will be seen, it will be very lightweight here, and it will create that amazing violin silhouette. Pattern is best when it's big or medium. When the pattern is small, it actually can look quite stunning too, but sometimes it kind of simplifies them a little bit. Sometimes it looks quite fussy on them because their must is ornateness. What doesn't fit them for sure? Of course, as I said, those tiny, small, sharp pieces, that can create a huge contrast with their voluptuousness and length. 
also something too stiff and no waist emphasis for example it's very straight or even bigger like wide especially around the waist area sometimes they make that kind of dresses with linen and linen normally stands straight sometimes so be careful with those dresses because they can really restrict you they can make you look like you've been wrapped in a blanket you will lack that movement now if you go for high waist I also suggest you to make a picture of yourself from a distance several steps away camera at the chest level just check your proportions because sometimes what happens if you're doing high waist especially if you have quite big boobs here then the waist is directly under the boobs so that boob area is shrinked it's shorter and then your face your arms your legs everything can be much more elongated and you will just look more disproportionate and we don't want that we needed like butter so our eyes would just glide from top to bottom and nothing would throw us out if we talk about bell dresses same thing when it's too puffy around the waist when it's too shrinked torso also check for proportions because it can give you some bulkiness you might feel like oh i need my regular waist back but again those dresses can be quite different so if you're wearing that dress and it's quite narrow actually and it's not messing too much with your sizes and with your soft flesh you might still feel comfortable in it especially if this dress is quite long if it's above the knees then you can look like a big woman is trying to look like a doll or like a little girl if you're still going for those kind of dresses slightly buffon go for longer dresses below the knees that will look much better on you also you can go for long gowns long kimonos that will look stunning on you that can actually balance any short pieces that you want for yourself for example you're wearing top and shorts you can wear this long 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 kimono chiffon kimono transparent see-through or something with ornate pattern that will look stunning on you you can go to the beach like that if we talk about top and bottom, for example, t-shirt and pants, don't be scared to size up for a t-shirt. It should not be squeezing you or be too tight. Don't worry, you won't look big. On contrary, you will look smaller comparing to that kind of slightly free t-shirt. It shouldn't be very stiff, but again, thicker fabric would look slightly better on you. It can also be t-shirt that is made in a style of a blouse. That can look a little bit more elegant on you, a little bit more dressy. If we talk about jeans or pants, basically anything would Work. I don't recommend ripped jeans too much ripped jeans because in my viewpoint any soft dramatic looks slightly untidy with that kind of jeans but if you still want to go for that why not just balance it with something more elegant on top and on the bottom Sophia Vergara she loves the ripped jeans and I don't like it very much but she's normally dressing them up with some high heels and with some blouses on top so from my viewpoint the best thing would be mom jeans slightly rounded at the butt area maybe something narrower at the ankles something straight would be great too or wide pants or wide jeans down to the bottom down to the floor that can look stunning if you feel like you need to lift yourself up you can go for platforms still i recommend you to look for something a little bit more elegant or if you're going for quite chunky platforms better open your ankles if you have wedge platforms with a narrower toe that's great for example it's in a beige color or in the color of your skin that can make your toes look quite elongated so so they will look great with elongated pants and elongated jeans and again if your jeans are high-waisted just wear a blouse or a shirt or a t-shirt on top of them don't tuck it in if you're tucking it in just tuck it in the middle and on the sides it should be slightly elongated otherwise it will be cropped too much as I said before and you will look like you have tiny torso and quite large head you can wear different shirts also I recommend you to size up for a shirt if it's too oversized of course it can give you some bulkiness but on the other other hand if you will have some waist emphasis that can look quite stunning and you are very stylish if you're wearing t-shirt and jeans that are very skinny very stretchy with thin fabric sometimes that might look slightly dowdy even and I'm not talking about who which figure has every woman can be plus size or minus size it doesn't matter we just talk about the overall vibe if you are going for something too tiny that can look as a contrast with your elongated limbs same thing if we talk about top and the skirt if skirt sits too high just check for that best is mid waist for you skirts can be different buffon skirts okay if they're long but better if they're slightly on the narrower side if the skirt is narrow then almost anything can fit tulip skirts pencil skirts and midi 
and longer. If you're going for something very stiff, for example, you have a denim skirt. It's quite stiff in fabric, right? When you're moving and walking in this kind of skirt, it seems like it's standing straight. It's not even moving with you. So to soften that severeness, because you still have some flesh, so for you it's very important to give some fluidity and some air for your look, some lightness still. So as a contrast, you can balance it with a blouse that has some ruffles or drapes basically any chiffon blouse or silky top something like this let's talk about shoes and especially combination dress and sneakers sneakers can be different if it's sneakers with slight platform that would give you height then your ankles are seen so your dress is not as long it's not covering the ankles then you definitely can pull that off preferably sneakers would not be too rounded or wide at the front if they're slightly narrower or slightly pointy that would look more elegant on you if you feel like you look bulkier with that just choose whether shorter dress with that or just use regular sandals. If we talk about flat shoes or belly flats, again, it depends on what you're wearing with and what your proportions are. Sometimes some soft dramatics, they have everything elongated and their legs, comparing to their height, are slightly on the shorter side. And sometimes their legs have some puffiness, especially around the knee. So they might feel like belly flats are dragging them down too much. So in this case, I just recommend you to go for kitten heel or wedge platform, but slightly narrowed and narrow toe especially something nude something that would match your skin tone you can always make it work with anything you wear I don't recommend wearing too heavy platforms it can be quite heavy for you unless again you show your ankles show your wrists or show your waist show something narrower it will help you lighten the silhouette a bit because these platforms are slightly chunky so, so they can play together with your flesh and they can drag you down a little bit but if you go for everything sleek, or for example, you have sleek jeans or sleek pants, those platforms can actually look great on you. All right, that's it. I hope that was interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.